the rules of probability. Our objective, we want to simply state the rules of probability. Let's remind ourselves what we already know. We already know what probability is. It is a measure of the likelihood of a random phenomenon or chance behavior occurring. Okay, let's also remind ourselves about some notation. We saw this in a previous video. In the following probability rules, the notation P with the E in parentheses, probability of E. Okay, this means the probability that event E occurs, probability of E happening. So what are the rules of probability? Well, simply put, they're right here, number one and number two. The probability of any event E occurring, which we just stated here is probability of E in this notation, must be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one. Zero, the probability is, is the event is not going to happen. One, the event will happen. This is totally will not happen. This is certain. It will happen. Mathematically, the probability of the event happening is greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to one. And number two, second rule, the sum of the probabilities of all outcomes must equal one. One, of course, being 100%. We want to have all outcomes included. That is, if the sample space is S equals event one, comma, event two, comma, event three, et cetera, et cetera, to the final event, then adding up these individual probabilities will give us one. We've included everything. Okay, let's take a look at and apply these rules here. Give me a second to get my, my uh, clipboard up. Okay, the color of plain M&M &M milk chocolate candy can be brown, yellow, red, blue, orange, or green. Suppose a candy is randomly selected from a bag. The table below shows each color and the probability of drawing that color. So the color brown has a probability of 0.13, which is also 13%, yellow 0.14, etc. Is this a probability model that follows the rules or probability? Okay, let's go up to here. These are our rules. Is this a model that follows those rules? Rule number one. The probability of any event occurring must be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to one. Okay, so one, rule one, all individual probabilities are between zero and one inclusive. Okay, let's see. This is between zero and one. Between zero and one, we can check these off. Between zero and one, between zero and one, the answer is yes. Okay, so rule number one, the probability of any event occurring must be greater than or equal to zero and less than one, we're there. Okay, rule number two, the sum of the probabilities of all outcomes, these are all outcomes, must equal one. We want to have every outcome accounted for. Okay, so two, the sum of all individual probabilities is one i'll put in 1.0 let's see if we so we want to add these up we want to get a one here and i can add these up 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 there's 90 96 yep i got 1.0 so yes so is this a probability model that follows rules of probability that's our question well yes it is it met rule number one and it met rule number two so our answer is yes. Okay, one more thing to mention here, a couple additional probability notes that we want to uh, keep in our toolbox. Additional notes, an impossible probability has a probability of zero. I spoke to this earlier. Okay, if the probability of an event happening is zero, then it's impossible. Let's go back to our M&Ms. What is the probability of pulling a purple 
color? Well, there are no purple, <laughs> so the probability is zero. Not going to happen. Okay. Um, a, an event, now that was number one, an event that is certain has a probability of one. It is going to happen. It will take place. And then finally, we define an unusual event as an event that has a low probability of occurring. Typically what that means is that the probability of that event occurring is less than 0 0.05, which is the same as 5%. So that tells us we have an unusual event.